Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis where I nearly did it again. Uh, I'm recording this one straight after like finishing the previous one, so you're benefiting of me with actually having knowledge of what my plans are. It's quite intriguing. We're gonna go to the war against the band who is Oh no, no. That's, that's gonna, yep, that's gonna complicate matters a little. Turns out, we're not gonna go to war against Raban at all. Not in the slightest. This is, um, a change of plans I'm not happy with. Well, all trade protection against Russia, that's fine. I'm gonna move up here for no particular reason. Got a lot of conquest TBs, you. Eh, imperialism. That'll do it. Lithuania wants military access. Huh, how about you now? Just no. Just get out of here, you know? I've got a 57 army, apparently. How's their attrition? Yeah, they're taking a ton of attrition. Cool. What weakens my foe will strengthen me. Look at that. They're taking like 1700 attrition there. Turn the other cheek, really? What, what's giving them that extra attrition? Is it like their ideas or something? Yes, turn the other cheek. Attrition for enemies, plus one. Ooh, that's really bad. So they're taking 3% attrition on a 60 stack. Damn, that's rough. I like it, because it's damaging them and not us, but damn. That's really rough. Oh! Yeah, our fleet of 77 light ships. We just sank a transport. Cool. We have established Prussian dominance. That is all. Ooh, and our score is doing pretty well as well. We're about to finish the buildings I recently ordered. So the cathedrals, training fields. Manpower is going to go through the roof again. We can already get the next level of military tech. Ah, uh, there we go. Immediately got 5,000 extra manpower. Our income is still absolutely brilliant. One second, though, I'm being messaged a lot. Alright, there we go. We are back and, well... I discussed the merits of the Prussian monarchy with my friend for a little bit. We're currently losing 0.47 each turn every month because we have 59 provinces it's only counteracted by like high army tradition high legitimacy and low stability low stability is bad so I think we've slowly like reached the limit of our Prussian meh, monarchy here we can still spend military points to increase it we're losing like Let's just say, in about a year, we'll lose 6% militarization, which will be... Eh, it shouldn't be that hard to replace. It only costs 50 military power. Every year, we currently gain 9 times 12. So that would be 90... 108. So we'd be spending like have a year's worth of military power, or a little under half a year, on keeping our discipline and our army, our, our discipline high, upkeep low, which is a good thing. But we're still like gaining plenty of military points. But I do think it might be time to switch our national focus when 1701 turns around. We're currently trying to catch up on Diplo, which is useful. I'm really tempted to hire this person. Even if they're very expensive. Because we are need we need a lot of Diplo. I want to catch up on like province war score costs, that sort of thing. Diplo tech cost itself will go down. Also the ideas itself will help. But then we also get imperialism with the new technology, so it's a it's a tough call to make. Imperialism will basically mean we don't have to fabricate claims anymore. Look at Danish separatists uprising in 
A lot of provinces over here. It's not looking too good over there. They're not very happy, my lord. We're up to 97 in Lithuania, so we can do something again. We can slander the merchants. Their recruitment is already being sabotaged, so that's good. I'm gonna slander the merchants. Why not? We've greatly hurt the trade power for years to come. Rabans, meanwhile, is still sieging Utrecht. They've already taken 20,000 manpower in, like, siege attrition. This is why I sent my infantry away. Let's take a look at their... Oh my god, the Ottomans have a giant force limit. We are third in force limit, by the way. Aragon is below us. They only have 78,000 troops at the moment. Hungary's got 100,000. So yeah, we need to split Aragon and Hungary at some point. This is getting really particularly dangerous. Also, I want to fabricate a claim on Hamburg. I want to recall my spy. I'm going to declare war on you guys. Enemy allies. Portugal, Lubeck, Dietmarsch and Bremen, Riga. Wait. Oh, we don't have... There we go. There we go. That gets rid of Portugal. Don't care about any of these guys. We'll take them on later. Alright, you're gonna go over there, you're gonna squish. You're gonna go over there, you're gonna reinforce that. 11 16, 11 to 16. I'm gonna do one day of waiting. There we go. Doop. Wiped. Shock damage received minus 10%. Cool. Alright, giant army dude. It's impossible to move there. Why? This is. Beyond ridiculous, honestly. <sighs> Game. Oh, oh, so you can get there, huh? That, that makes even less sense. What the hell is this border? Crap. Stupid zone of controls. They are broken sometimes, I will say that. They do occasionally, they do overall mostly seem to work, but this is beyond ridiculous. Get out your navy. We're gonna have to do some sieging here. So they've got a level 7 port. There we go, minimum amount of people present. Now we're gonna get the hell out of there. There we go, we have occupied them. It's good. Are we fighting Bremen as well? Yeah, we're fighting Bremen as well in that war. Max amount of monarch points reached for admin. Ooh. We can boost in Magdeburg. Cool, yeah. Extra money, I like it. Currently got a siege of them set up, that's good. Here, this war is going great. They're gonna take the capital, Akers, huh? At some point. I think Ansbach is gonna do that for us, actually. Danish separatists have risen up in Nordjylland. That's bad. We do have a fort over there. That was only level 4, which is bad, but. Eh. Yeah, yeah, there's bad stuff, I know. Tell me something I don't know. Like the airspeed of an unladen swallow. I know, by the way, that we don't have enough troops to siege out Hamburg. I'm not trying to siege him out. I'm trying to get rid of Lübeck first so we can finally walk somewhere. The zones of control are ridiculous. Royal marriage with France just ended, that's bad. I mean, we can renew that, it's fine. They'll renew it, right? Yeah, they will. Yeah, they, they just offered themselves, it's fine. Got a bit of a strong winter going on. Starting to take some attrition, slowly. Oh, we have breached the walls over there, that's good. Hansbach, look out! 
That's not good. We're gonna send a level four there as well. Good to keep in mind. We have neutralized Lubeck nearly. Oh, there we go. Breach the walls. That'll do. And we can get military attack. I don't feel like it. We don't have enough people to keep seizing now. Are you kidding me? That's attrition taken hold. Damn. I mean, we're still doing just fine manpower-wise. Thank you very much. There we go. Here's their war fleet. It's made up of light ships. Oh, that's gonna be a slaughter. Dead. All of them dead. Hi. That's a three stack. Three stacks are cute. They're tiny and fuzzy. There we go, that'll do. Send you over there. I'm gonna go home, are you? That's eh, fine. They did get a tick off, interesting. That's our army gone. Well, you offer a lot of money. I like this. But I will refuse for now. Lubeck, let's have an actual talk with you. Let's sit down. I don't care about your alliances, we have 100 prestige anyway. We could vassalize you, but I don't care either. More reparations... Oh uh, yeah. We'll take all your money. 3,800 ducats, not bad. Ooh, we're transferring trade power to other people. We can get them to transfer trade power to us. Eh. Honestly, I'll just take this. Thank you for the money. Woohoo! Fortunately, that does give us a little bit of a problem over here. I'm we'll marching a giant army in there, by the way, just saying. Boop. Why can we not siege this? Like, seriously, why not? It's only a level 7 fort. You guys need a minute? I think they might they might need a minute. That's your minute. Get out there. That's better. Oh, reach our maximum of admin again. Leipzig! You are beautiful, huh? Have I ever told you that? You are. Look at that. A lot of extra income. How's there? Oh, look at that. Portugal's paying us 39 ducats! Wow! They are living it up, aren't they? Okay, we're gonna take you guys off to prevent too much attrition. We're only taking 700, uh, 7,000 rather. Uh, look at Brabant, they've taken 40,000. Brabant is silly. I think I'm gonna go for one... no. I'm gonna keep going for the ideas. They reduce the cost of the technology, like I really want imperialism. But right now we're doing fine with our spies. And I really want the province war score minus so we can go nuts. Just absolutely go ham. Eh, I think we'll send you out there, why not? Oh, that... yeah, rebels. That's bad. We need to do something about that. Wish I had an army to send over there, to be honest, but... Eh, there you go. What will you do, alright? Hello! We have boats! Many boats! Here's the ultimate test. Did we lose any boats? No, we didn't. We're still at 129. You guys are perhaps a little bit scratched. These guys don't care. Good. We'll keep everything blockaded. Mm. That said, I do have a somewhat decent fleet. I'll move you in there just in case. You should be fine. Keep marching. Oh, you wanna... Right, yes. 
We'll have words. No need prestige. I want your war reparations, I want your money. 900 ducats. Not bad at all. We'll cancel your alliance to get a bit of prestige. Yeah, that's all I need for now. Revan, you offered terms. Well, I, I like all your money. You don't have any money. Want war reparations? And an old treaties with Lubeck. You don't want that? Well, then we're gonna have a problem, you know. Ten se years of separatism and coldening. Military complacency! Eh, I mean, it's not like we... It's not like I can complain, let's be honest. Tyrannical nobles! Who's on base tax or make the nobility pissed? Guess who's gonna be pissed, nobility? It's you again! Okay, well, if you don't want this deal... That's the British war over. Utrecht will cede Utrecht to Brabant. Oh god. Ooh, we get 14 ducats. That's bad for us, right? Oh, they separate pieced them. Okay, I get it now. Our Inquisitor died. No. Eh. I like the uh, national unrest dude. We'll hire him. Don't complain about money, guys. We have 78 ducats. Portugal's income has gone drastically down, though. That's bad. Look at you, Brabant. What are you doing? Where are you in this list? There you are. You have no manpower. You are literally killing your own army all the time. That's the entire war over there. Norway will cede to Sweden and Great Britain partially as well. They always stick favors. Good. We can make use of that. Oh, you rascals. Well, the spy network and bad. We need to keep spying on them. Danish separatists are going crazy over there. Really wish I could send my army over, but we're currently still sieging out Hamburg. Incorruptible. Okay, we don't have any corruption problems, though. Bremen! You are now our slave, for all intents and purposes. I could just... Can I not? No, you're not a... Damn it. Really want you to be a vassal. Fine. Fine. Alright, that's one army back. We're gonna take care of you. Rather, we'll wait, because... Ooh. National tax modifier plus 50%, or gain 100 ducats. We're gaining 64 ducats. If we were to go for like 50%, we'd gain... I think that might actually pay off. 50%, so that's going to be 30 ducats per month. Or 26. It's still going to be more. Cool. <gasps> they had a... Oh! They haven't... We have spread our dynasty to England! Oh, that's gonna be fun! You know what this means, right? Oh, as soon as we can claim the throne, we will. <laughs> Cruises are ended. Ending, rather. Not ended. I mean, they are ended now, but... They were ending. We're gonna move into there. There's a manpower doing, eh, we're a couple thousand below the cap, but honestly. Holland's fighting the Aztec. 
more mongoose. So, let's take a look at the coalition map here. The only one that's really pissed at us is Mains. Nobody else gives a toss about us right now. Good, so we can fully annex this. New Duke, what? What? What just happened? We lost a dude. Yeah. Okay, our ruler apparently just died. What? We didn't lose any stability either. Is that a late game thing? That might be a late game thing. Cool. William IV, Henry von Hohenzollern. Cool. Like, the historical thing happened. Eventually, a German will end up on the throne over there. So that's fun. So, you just, like, lose already? 42%, come on, man. Like mission, go back to protecting trade in Lübeck. With 9,000 ducats, by the way, I just want to point that out. Finally! Right. Give me your land. Give me your money. Between 1 and 30 degrees of expansion, that's fine. Thank you. Your fleet is dead. Sorry. I'm gonna court his land now. One step closer to actual Germany. <laughs> oh my god. They're threatening another succession war. Eh. I'm not worried. You get over here. Losses are high. Peasants are effective at fighting, who knew? We're at cap for military? Well, we can fix that easily. There we go. We're now losing... Oh, we've got 61 provinces. It feels good, but it's also quite bad. Provincial unrest is high all over the place. Even with the national unrest, dude. You want Hamburg back? Now go piss off. I'll give him autonomy. Move out of the way, Ansbach. We'll, we'll even take the cavalry away. That we don't need to be there. Their troops are also helping in the siege. Not that we need it. You are disloyal. You can call it diet. That makes you feel better. We can gain man- not that we need manpower, we can get manpower if we want it. We can get- I need diplomatic support. I'm gonna lose a bit of prestige, give them some influence, hopefully. I wanna demand diplomatic support. Good. That's the diplo points we need. Ironically, our doom stacks are getting so large, we're starting to take attrition. In our own country. Which is not good. On the plus side, we can gain 1,750 men each month, which is pretty damn awesome. I just really want an air right about now, though. That'd make me really happy. Also, just the fact that they have a Hohenzollern on the throne. Oh, we've got a... Oh, my God! How did I not notice this before? We've got a dynasty of... Oh, I see a possible way to world conquest over here. I'm <laughs> oh, just kidding. It might not be like world conquest or anything, but bloody hell. Both Great Britain and Russia have a Hohenzollern on the throne. We can finally rival Aragon and Hungary with our own land here. Speaking of which, we are firmly established as the number one great power over here. I like it. I'm gonna have to go back, because I keep saves in between, like, all the episodes. I'm gonna have to notice, like, when did this happen? Exceptional year expired. Well, it was worth it. Dear lord. Force limit of 162. Naval limit of 142. 
Prussia will build all of the mighty boats. Seriously, we're just gonna build a war fleet here if you don't mind. Even if you do. There we go. We'll curb our ambitions a little bit. Because they ask nicely. But we will have all the two deckers. It will be glorious. Military technology still four years ahead of time. Finally won that damn siege. Now we can get back to doing army things. I'm not even sure where to station all these armies at this point. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I am having a blast, an absolute blast. We're gaining a bit of corruption, nobody cares. You are not very likely to join. If we can slander their... Uh, ruin their diplomatic relations, rather. Can I do anything fun with you? I can't steal your maps. I can support your rebels. I can fabricate a claim on you. Like, I can fabricate a ton of claims against Lithuania, that's no problem. Speaking of war, we'd face a lot of people. Yeah. I might pull my spy network back from them. Not after, like, claiming all the provinces, though. I want to be ready for a possible war with them. There we go. You go home now. We'll start spying on Bohemia instead. They're allied to Hungary. My god! Who are your allies? Poland, Salzburg, and Genoa. I really don't like the fact that they're involved with Salzburg, I've got to be honest. Let it pull out back. We could, like, fulfill our claim on Augsburg. We'd have to fight Portugal, Mainz, Hungary, and the Knights. We'd probably be able to pull it off, let's be honest. Especially with France and Great Britain on the side. This would basically be World War I. Except very wonky. Very wonky, but we can break the, uh, the Royal Marys before they're integrated and everything. Or rather, the personal union. So that's good. We lost our war reparations, sadly. Oh man, we are doing super well. I like this. More of this, please. Naval race versus the Ottomans. I mean, that's what we're pretty much doing. Yeah, we'll get that mission. We are building a ton of boats right now. We're about to have a larger navy than them anyway. Oh, full of military power. I was going to look at buildings again. Uh, let's see. Any place that has a decent amount? 750, that'll do. 450, sold. Grand shipyards, anyone. Anywhere. Docks? Dry docks? Oh, they can't build dry docks, can they? Because they're building at the moment. Fine. Stock exchanges? Plus 16, my god. Plus 27! Ooh! Ooh -hoo. Trade control! Workshop! Anything... anything good? 0.37, my god, where have you been hiding all this time? Hell yeah. Universities? Everyone gets universities. <laughs> I don't care, just spend all the money. We're sitting on so much, it's... The House of Von Blankheim. Oh, thank God, we've got a, we've got an heir. Heinrich von Hohenzollern, uh, 433. He's good. I, I don't mind him. Blaking is the seat of our family, of our consorts. Country of origin is Prussia, really? Yeah, we'll, we'll name him Heinrich. Heinrich, why not? Lakinga gets local minus unrest, monthly autonomy change goes up. 
So where is that? Making a... I can't say I've heard of it before. We've taken so much land at this point. Um... Not down here. I think it's in Sweden. Yep, there it is. So you will gain autonomy from now on. It's gonna keep going down at peace. That's good. Government form and rank are helping. Centralization is helping. Uh, we are full on military. It's fine. Ah, crap. I shouldn't have spent that one diplo... Ah, uh, it's only 30. But still, it's 30. That would have come in very useful. Look at that giant lizard building being done. Look at all those boats about to be done as well. I approve. Hamburg is now a core. Good. Now converted to the one true faith. Still got 16 unrest. Damn. That's all. That, that is partially because of the uh, the mission area, though, so that should be okay. We're about to get our mission. Border friction. Uh, perhaps a policy change is in order. Royal Navies goes up for 10 years. Sailor's modifier goes up. Tradition goes up as well. Cool. Lauenberg is now a core as well. Can I send anyone else to convert you? Yeah, we've got two. How many missionaries do we have? I uh, don't know, but uh, we've got plenty. Bribes growing more accepted. Eh, it's only 0.5 corruption. We can get rid of that. Ahead of time in admin. Positive stability. It's good. It's good. Uh, honest merchant of Prussia. Oh god, yes. Extra trade power. Fear our navy, Ottomans. Incorporate Ansbach. Get Diplorat plus one. Uh, I kind of want to wait a little bit longer for that one because of the... Uh... Well, let's be honest. We, we're still like trying to recover our Diplo points at the moment. We're doing a, yeah, increase that again. It's still worth it at the moment, so we'll keep doing that for now. Look at my mighty navy. It's it's strong, it's beautiful. It's growing quickly. Excellent. We're gonna invest a new admin tech, gain more states, counting house. That way. Ending. Russian expansion would, allow, uh, would require us to go to war with Poland, Sweden, Hungary, Lithuania, and Utrecht. They like to find all the strong alliances, don't they? Could we use our great power state to break the alliance with anyone? No. We fight Sweden, allied with Poland. Yeah, we could go for a war with Sweden. Revert some course in Norway, I guess. Norway! Would you accept vassalization? Never! We own Norwegian core provinces! You have subjects of your own! Hostile attitude! More than 100 developments! Difference in government ranks, difference between borders... Norwegian government rank and trust! Safe to say, we'll call it a maybe. Let's see... Bohemia... I like it with Ottomans, Burgundy, Brabant, and Georgia. That could be a fun war. We don't have a CB though. Are we spying on them? Yes, you're not. Oh no, yeah, we are. Good. I could, like, go for the mission Conquer Silesia. We'll take those lands off of them and then take, like, Minich off as well. Yeah, that might work. We'll have to do something about Salzburg at some point, but, yeah. I do want to form Germany pretty soon. Like, we'll have to fight Brabant as well at some point. Gotta try and find a way to ruin their Diplo reputation. 
How high is the Diplo reputation, actually? We see that over here. We should be able to see that over here. Oh, we've got corruption. We've got the score, which is next to nothing. Prestige is at minus one. Stability is at plus three. But we can't see their Diplo reputation. Interesting. Now we're going to promote some... Uh, uh, it does cost 100. I'm going to save that for now. Reduce penalties for all of these, so we're not going to incorporate them. They'll fall under Germanic anyway, so as soon as we form Germany, they'll become, like, accepted cultures by default. Tend to go for Danish, because it would make them happier. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. It's going to get proper crazy in here now. So I hope you'll enjoy. If you want to watch more EU4 but you are not yet subscribed to the channel, do hit that subscribe button right now to get notified when future videos go live. It's pretty great. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Until next time. Have a good one, folks.